to Georgie, built an igloo. It was a beautiful winter morning. Georgie was up early. Next door, his friend Bill was up too. Bill was building a house out of the snow. It's called an igloo, Bill said. I'm going to sleep in it tonight. Georgie wanted to help. He also wanted to sleep in the igloo. It will be a lot of fun. Georgie tried stacking some blocks of snow. It was not easy. They kept slipping and sliding. First, you make a circle in the snow, said Bill. The snow blocks go around the circle. This makes a sturdy base for more snow blocks to go on top. Bill showed Joey how to stack the snow blocks on top of the base. Around and around they were until they were, there was only a hole left at the top. The last piece is called the keystone, Bill said. It keeps all the other snow blocks in place. You have to fill in all the cracks, Bill said. This keeps the igloo nice and warm inside. They smoothed out the snow blocks. Bill and Georgie filled up all the space with snow. Georgie was impressed, but Bill's igloo was a little small. Georgie wanted to build his own igloo, a big igloo that could fit in bed and some more friends and maybe a party with music. Georgie got to work. This time, he made the circle bigger. He stacked the snow blocks around and around, just as Bill had told him. Georgie worked on his igloo until the sun went down. It was a big igloo. It even had a snug window. But Georgie was a tired monkey. He did not have all t- uh, have time to fill all the cracks with snow. The man with the yellow hat helped move Georgie's warm bed into the igloo. Georgie bundled it up and went to sleep. Soon Georgie woke up. He was very cold. The wind though was drafty. The cracks were letting the cold air in. Georgie really wanted to spend the night in an igloo. What could he do? Then Georgie had an idea. The man had told Georgie to come inside if he got cold. So Georgie walked in his living room. It was nice and warm inside the house. He crawled into his new igloo and went to sleep again. The living room was the perfect temperature for sleeping, but it was too far for the house made of snow. Georgie's indoor igloo began to melt. When Georgie woke up the next morning, his igloo had melted. It had turned into a big puddle and a big mess to clean up. Luckily for Georgie, his outside outdoor igloo was still standing. The big igloo was too cold for sleeping, but it was just right for a party. Georgie and his friends spent the whole winter playing in his big igloo until it melted away in the spring. The end.